everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Leanne Russo Liddell, Associate Broker and Realtor at Ocasio Realty. And today I am here at Uptown Barbershop and I am with the owner, Ronnie Yagudeyev. It's very nice to meet you, Ronnie. Thank you so much for having me here today. Thanks for having us. I'm really excited to talk about Uptown Barbershop because they are a family owned and operated barbershop specializing in all men's haircuts and um, they have three locations on this same corner of 16th street and bethany so really a testament to how well you guys are doing so um ronnie let's just get started and kind of dive right in um tell me a little bit about the business and how you got started well you can say i'm second generation barber okay cool and um right out of high school i just know i didn't want to go to college I even went to college to make my parents happy. Okay, I, I enrolled okay. and everything. And then okay. and then I just knew I wanted to be a barber. I got my license, my barber's license while I was in college. Okay. And um, I became a barber. I dropped out of school, okay. <laughs> out of college. And uh, I decided to be a barber. And I and I got my experience working in different barber shops around town. Okay. And I uh, wanted to venture out on my own. Okay. And I did. And uh, we came to 16th Street in Bethany because, you know, I live in the neighborhood. At the time, I was on uh, 10th Street in Glendale. Okay. You know, we moved. Now I'm on 14th Street in Glendale. Not yeah. far, right? So yeah. I love the neighborhood. Most of us don't move too far out of the neighborhood. <laughs> right. I grew up in this neighborhood. I nice. worked, worked in this neighborhood. Okay. Went to school in this neighborhood. Made friends in this neighborhood. So okay. I figured, why not work in this neighborhood? Awesome. So I decided to come here in the corner, 16th Street in Bethany, right behind Dunkin' Donuts. And believe it or not, it was just me when we started. Okay. And I found great help. And eventually we turned a 660 square foot barbershop. It was just a very busy barbershop. We had seven barbers and oh, there was always a line out the door. It mm-hmm. wasn't really comfortable. So I decided sure. to build an overflow store, Okay. which is Uptown Barbershop's signature where we okay. are right now. And uh, this store took off quickly. There was more room here. We started attracting more families and okay. uh, grooms parties, you know, okay. for the groomsmen. Okay. And at the same time, uh, we get a phone call from a barbershop that was across the street on the third corner. Okay. And he decided to sell me his store and he wanted to help join us. Nice. So he's here with us. Thank God he's here. You know, he's helping us out and sure. uh, he's doing what he does best here without the headaches of owning a barbershop, you know. Yeah. So. Okay. So we took over. So we have three on one corner. Okay. Didn't plan it that way, but uh, the way it worked out was, yeah, was I mean, a lot least, of fun. You know, at least they're going to know where to go, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's all very close. Correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so tell me a little bit about what some of your goals are for the next year. Obviously, COVID's changed everything, but I see, you know, obviously everybody's doing their part here with their masks and everything but yeah. um you know what are you what are you hoping for for next year for next year um we're going to continue doing what we started six months ago i mean we've always sanitized and been disinfected but we're doing it on another level okay where we're actually spraying down the chairs after okay. every use we're each clipper each comb is sanitized with better disinfectant spray than ever before okay. kills 99.9 percent of viruses and um For the next year, um, I'm looking into a cleaning crew that can come in here and sanitize our our, uh, barbershop every night. And they come in with steam and they literally hit everything. Everything. The doorknobs, the chairs. So we're really excited about that. I got some meetings lined up for that. And um, sanitation wise, we will always try our best and try to be better. Because one thing I learned is to be clean. And our barbers know that, so. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's sort of like, a, I guess, a specialty or what's something that people come in for most often? Most often, uh, clients come in for a hot towel, straight edge shaves. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're licensed professionals. We know how to use the blade correctly. Okay. Um, and if you love the hot towels and the treatment, we do the face pull off, peel off face masks. Okay, nice. Yeah, it cleans your pores out real nice. Okay. You know, uh, this is what we do. Uh, I just know that uh, a woman, she can go to a salon and spa all day and she can pamper herself. And I found that for gentlemen, it's, th- is it just a haircut? Mm-hmm. No, let's get a shave, let's get a face mask. Yeah. You know, let's take it to the next level. Okay, nice. So, yeah. Yeah, That's like my husband here. really likes, uh, instead of, he's been doing beard oil, but now he's yeah. doing like beard butter. Because we have beard his. butter, we have two in one beard conditioner, okay. we have different oils. Yeah. Nice, tell me a little bit of the things that you like to do in the neighborhood, Ronnie. So, you know, I love all the restaurants and bars here. 
I go to the big a lot. You know, the big is real Love nice. And yep. All the, the bars here on 7th yeah. Street are great. Start yep. knowing people, yep. you know. Um, member at a gym okay. at, at the Biltmore. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. <laughs> I signed up and COVID-19 happened. And okay. Like, I feel like when I started working out, the whole world stopped. You know, okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's my fault. I hope not. Uh, no, no. But no. yeah, you know, um, just everything, everything, okay. everything, and anything that I do is in this neighborhood. Okay, right on. Seriously, yeah. whether yeah. whether we're eating or taking my kids to their soccer games and practices at the Madison schools, and nice. Whatever it is, it's here. Okay. Whenever our friends meet us to go out, we're meeting here. Like, yeah. there's nothing in your neighborhood. You're coming to Uptown. Yeah, coming to my neighborhood. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Right. I agree. So, all right, right on. Well, is there anything else that you want to tell me about Uptown Barbershop? Uptown Barbershop, we're family owned and operated. You know, we support the community. Mm -hmm. Our clients love us. We love them back. For instance, um, we have a food drive going right now. Oh, sweet. We okay. filled up a few boxes of food. We're going to donate it. Um, we uh, sponsor soccer teams for the okay. Madison for Football Club. And it's just fun to see people recognize you sure you know um come support us we'll support you you know right um we're father and son environment you know we try to keep it clean clean music sure you know. yeah i was jamming out to the right? in the jets when you i got saw here, yeah so. yeah we do that <laughs> we do that good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some of these young barbers don't know what the what that is uh, but they're they learning learn. they'll yes learn. yes All right. yeah. it's okay Every, everybody needs a little bit of culture now and again absolutely so happening, absolutely so. Yes. All right. Well, hey, Ronnie, I really appreciate you talking to me. Um, once again, everybody, I am Leanne Russo Liddell, associate broker and realtor at Ocasio Realty. And I am here at Uptown Barbershop. So you can swing by any of their three locations um, at the 16th Street and Bethany corner. And I will have all of their contact information and links um, to everything below this interview. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Appreciate it.